How's everybody doing? I'm John McShee 5 and this is some sort of Call of Duty gameplay in the background. I have no idea. I haven't picked it out yet because I don't know how long this video is going to be. But uh, I just want to tell you guys what's going on with me. Um, school just started and, well, officially started. Like last week was just not much. But now today is like the real work part of school. And uh, it was a bit overwhelming, not gonna lie. And I'm sure many of you guys, maybe you didn't start school yet, maybe you you, uh, you have and you already went through this, but I'm starting my junior year of high school and it is said to be the hardest year of school in high school. So, uh, I mean, some, some of it is very scary and uh, I don't wanna deal with it and stuff like that. But um, some of it is exciting because this year um, it determines if I will get into a good college and some see that as scary very scary but I see it as a challenge and you know that one meme going challenge accepted with its arms crossed and all that stuff um, yeah I just see it as that and some people just get so stressed over it and I'm just like don't be stressed it's okay just take it one step at a time I used to have I used to have so, so much anxiety problems because I, I always look at the big picture, but now I'm finally realizing that when you just cut stuff down into smaller pieces, it makes it so much easier and so much less stressful. And that is just something to really live by and take into other parts of life as well besides school, besides uh, sports or extracurricular stuff. I mean, put it into your job if you have to do 40 hours a week just take it one hour at a time it, it's i mean it's not that big of a deal i don't have a job i don't know what it's like to work 40 hours a week but let me think eight hours yeah i work 40 hours a week in school and then i have overtime with homework <laughs> except i don't get paid and in fact i have to pay the school um because i do go to a private school and anyway where was i going with this oh yeah struggles and being worried about all this work taking it one step at a time, and yes, 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 oh yeah, that's right, sorry for this whole backtracking silence, and then more backtracking, and now me rambling again, but what I wanted to get to was what my math teacher said today, um, my math teacher, he is this genius of a guy, he's only 30 years old, but he, he just knows so much, and what he said was, failure is the same as learning but you can fail at something but that doesn't make you a failure the only time you are a failure is if you accept that you're a failure if you accept that you're a failure you have failed but if you don't accept fa failure and you take failure and turn that into learning and learning from your failure and that makes you a winner because when you learn from your failures, you just keep on improving, keep on improving until you're the best that you can be. And that really got to me today. I was getting pretty stressed about this whole school junior year thing. And then I he, he kind of said that and I'm just like, you know, what he's saying is right. If I, Even if I do fail a test this year, even if I do forget to hand him one little piece of homework this year, it doesn't matter. I'll take that failure and I'll learn from it. And from that, I'll become stronger. I mean, yeah, that's kind of cliche, but the worst part about cliche is that it's entirely true. So that's that. Um, what was the other thing he said? Oh, he has this post in his room that it's like, it says, you will never regret putting your best into something. And that is very true as well. I've, I've considered like last year or the year before that, freshman year, sophomore year of high school, I slacked off. I managed to get uh, high honors in freshman year and then I got honors uh, sophomore year. And some of you are like, holy crap, John McGee 5 you're a genius. And other people are like, oh, that's cool, man. Good job. Um, and then other people are like, Psh, only high honors. I got 100% in every class, 5.0. G GPA and all that jazz and and uh, whatever uh, that person you're cool you're better than me in that regard but um, uh, I don't know whatever For, forget that that overachiever no <laughs> I'm just kidding but do your best and 
don't regret it. And if you do your best, you I, I said doo-doo. <laughs> uh, if you do your best, you won't regret it. So that's kind of all I've got to say. Uh, I'm almost at 300 subs. Probably by the time this video goes up, or I don't know, by the time you're watching, I might already have 300 subs. I've been doing this for a year, almost a year now. So it's um, September 6th right now. I think my first video went up September 30th 2010 September 6 2011 right now and yeah might get 300 subs by one year which really isn't that great of a feat but to me it is because I didn't get any sh big shout outs from anybody I didn't tweet out my videos I didn't Post them on what is it, Respawn Army, and get a bunch of bumps and whatever that jazz is. I make videos for fun. At one point, I was just like, I'm gonna get my YouTube money. But then I was like, why? Why do I want to center my hobby around money and get paid for something that I get enjoyment out of anyway? My currency on YouTube is enjoyment, not money. Um, so, yeah, that's. All I've got to say about that, that's kind of my acknowledgement of 300 subs, and that's all I've got to say, period. So, that is it, people. I hope you enjoyed this little rant slash tips and tricks uh, for junior fear of school, uh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. God bless. See ya.